we are all at different levels and we're all experiencing different things in our journey, in our lives. And some of us have been in situations our entire life where we have had people just to speak positive things, to give us positive seeds in our lives. And then there are some of, some of us, especially chosen people. And we have had people to speak ill things, to give us bad seeds, hoping and wishing that it would produce absolutely nothing but difficulty in our lives. I want to talk to you today and let you know this, that the seeds that the evil one used to plant in your life in vain, I want you to understand that God took that seed, cleaned it up, breathed on it, and he gave you a fortress. See, within your temple lies the secret of heaven. Within your mind is the mystery of who you were created to be. Within your heart flows the river of living water that God has placed inside of your being. And I want you to understand that words carry power and words carry frequency. And I want you to understand this, that in the beginning was the word <laughs> and the word was God and the word is still God. And I want you to know that God wants you to grab a hold of his word today and allow his word to become a seed in your mind so that it can begin to penetrate and grow roots and produce fruits. I want you to know that the biggest threat in this environment for your enemy is your seed. And I want you to understand that once you understand the power that you possess inside because you, because who you are connected to, there is nothing and nothing in this land that can stop you from being the best you. And I know sometimes it gets hard and sometimes it gets difficult for us to really understand why we keep going through, why the same things continue to happen. Why is it that we can't get ahead? Why is it that I take two steps forward and then two steps back. And I want you to understand that God told me today to let you know that it's all a part of your mind. It's all a part of your mind. When you can renew your mind in the things of God, you can spend more of your days looking forward to an unformed future that's dipped in faith. When you can understand the mysteries of your mind, you spend less time thinking about what happened yesterday or thinking about who hurt you or thinking about just the advantage or disadvantage that you have in your life right now. You spend more time in the promises of God and less time in the negatives of the devil. I want you to understand that even in the darkness, God will take you and he will develop you. And I want you to understand that if you are in a dark place today, it is a hundred percent okay because you developed in the dark. God develops you more in the dark. This earth was without form, but yet God's spirit was still hovering throughout this whole earth and God was still there. So if you are in a dark place today and you may feel that you are alone today, I want you to understand that the Lord is still there. I want you to know that every negative in your life, God is going to twist and turn it and develop you and give you a positive. Everything Thing that's going on in your world today that may be trying to get you off course, that may be trying to make you feel discouraged, that may be having you repeat through your mouth all of the negative things in your mind. I heard the Lord say, I want to renew your mind in such a way that you can let the weight go. 
You can let the spirit of fight or flight go. You can rest in the certainty that I've got you. 100% I've got you. It's nothing that you do that I don't know about. That's how much I got you. Even when you're going through the storms of life and the waves and currents in your life, God is saying that I still got you. I just need for you to understand that I've got you in my hand. It's no load that you can go because you are the apple of my eyes. And even though the enemy may try to plant dark things in your life, I will light it up and give you more power and give you all the good things. So as you go about your day on today, I want you to think about how good your God is, how much Jesus loves you, how you are being divinely protected, how you are just covered in the blood of Jesus, how you are an answer to somebody's dilemma, and how you are something that God created and said that it was good. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still believe in you. Bye now.